All right, everyone. So it's time for the Universal Garage Sale, Universal Studios Garage Sale. I'm in the parking garage. It's basically in the employee parking section of Universal, which you just punch in uh, Universal Studios HR Human Resources into GPS, and you'll find it. Uh, but yeah, so it's the first day. It's a preview for annual pass holders. You can only come if you're a pass holder on the first day. I don't know if the deals are going to be that good since it's day one. Uh, last time I went and I scored big, it was day three. So, but I wanted to check it out and get in with the hype. It's 7 a.m. I had to leave at like 5 a.m. to get here in time. Uh, there's a lot of cars here. It looks like it's going to be crowded. I'm going to try to get some footage for you, see what the deals are like, see if it's worth you coming out sometime. Uh, and holy cow, there's a lot of people. Look at this line, that's crazy. It's a, quite an epic line. All right, guys, so we're switching over to voiceover mode. Here I am just waiting to be released. They're releasing people one at a time, and I spotted this sign that says 70% off of everything, which is a great deal, honestly. Last time I came, it was 80%, and I thought that was a great deal. This being the first day and already at 70% had me pretty excited. So basically, we just wait a few seconds for them to let us in and release the hounds now on the left there i saw it was all halloween horror night stuff so i started to walk towards it but then i actually decide to stop walking this way in just a second the reason being once i realized it really was all halloween horror night stuff i just realized i didn't want to be shopping in that area yet. the reason for that is because it's 70 percent off which the day before or a few days before i had gone over to universal studios and they had this same deal 70 percent off all the halloween stuff uh, i did see this little, little boo hoodie and i was like oh i want that but it said extra small mall only which wouldn't fit I don't think anyone in my family I checked a few just because I saw a lot of other people looking like maybe there was more than extra small even though the sign said extra small and finally after looking at like four or five different hoodies I was like yeah this definitely is really only extra small and they didn't make that sign for fun they made it because it's actually the case I decided I didn't want to look too long I saw a couple things that exorcist t-shirt was kind of cool checking out the prices. I'm seeing that there's no additional markdowns from when I shopped a few days ago though. And when I shopped a few days ago, like I said, it was already 70% off and I had no crowds, no rush scenario, anything like that. And I was like, you know, I don't need to look at the Halloween stuff again. I'm pretty sure I could go in the park at any time right now and it still would be 70% off. Uh, that shirt is $22, for example, that plaid button up. And the one in my hand there is 33 with the discount of 70%. So it's like $10. And I already got one. So I don't need another one. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get away from the Halloween stuff since I've already done this shopping. And look at these crowds. It's insane. It's totally wild. Last time I went to the garage sale, it was kind of kind of empty, honestly. It was nothing like this. But I also didn't go the first day. I went the third day. Uh, and that might make all the difference. We're going to try to find out. Oh, here's there's some comics. Bundles. Like three comic books per bundle. $12. It seemed like kind of a normal price deal to me. Generally, comics are about $3.99, so it didn't seem like that good of a deal, so I decided to skip over those and keep on walking. And as you can see, I'm kind of just a little lost. There it is. I found the thing I wanted the most, the E.T. in the basket plush. I saw several people buying these while I was waiting in line. I saw one guy buy like 15 of them, and I'm like, oh man, I hope they don't sell out. But sure enough, I did find them. Their original price, I believe, was $29.99 or $39.99, making them anywhere from $8 to $12 honestly can't remember. I guess I could look since I have one in my living room. Stand by. All right, $35. So the ET plush in the basket was marked 35, but then you get 70% off, meaning they were about 10.50 a piece. They did have some Jurassic World dinos as well, which would have been a good gift for Christmas now that I think about it, but I ended up passing mostly cuz I didn't want to carry them around cuz they're in a big box and I Remember last time I went to one of these, I got really over encumbered and it was frustrating. They have a pillow pet from Secret Life of Pets. My kids aren't really into the pillow pets. I don't really like the pillow pets. They're not very cute, right? They're just literally a pillow. So we decided to skip that. Now, the bubble wand, the dinosaur bubble wand is $27. Now, my daughter saved up a bunch of money to get one of these bubble wands when they first came out and she ended up breaking it. So I decided to get her one nine bucks with the 70% off and she was very excited to get it. 
I ch checked out the Funko Pops, $9 a piece. There you go, you can see the tag there. Honestly, at this day and age, I don't even like to spend more than five bucks on a Funko Pop. Uh, they had some web gear, the Spider-Man action figures. Pretty much all the action figures were a little expensive for me, and I just, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling the action figures, so I decided to pass on them. They had this Kung Fu Panda play set as well, which was marked at $25, so with the discount, that'd be $7.50. It's really just vinyl figures, so I didn't, I didn't really want to do that. I decided, really, the main reason I came was for clothes, to be honest with you. My kids, I got a bunch of clothes last time. They wanted more clothes, so they sent me back and said, hey, can you get me this and this and this? And one of the big things they wanted was these, uh, Hogwarts, not even Hogwarts, but Harry Potter themed jackets. Well, I thought they wanted them. We won't talk about how I screwed everything up, but they wanted these jackets. I thought these zip up jackets. What they actually wanted was the thing I just had my hand on. It's like a, a t-shirt that's like poly polyester. And anyways, so I got the wrong thing, but we'll talk about that. They still like the stuff I got them. It's just, I did get them the wrong thing. So what you'll find me doing is searching for those shirts. And this, that's that's literally the one she wanted, that one with no zipper. Uh, but I didn't realize that. I thought they wanted the zipper one. The crazy thing is the non-zipper one, I'm pretty sure was cheaper. I think the non-zipper one was like 30 or $40. And the zipper one was marked $60. So I ended up paying like $18 for the wrong one and I would have only had to pay like $9 for the one that the kids actually wanted. <sighs> but you live and you learn, such is life. So I'm basically just grabbing some of those shirts, 18 bucks a piece. That's another one of those extra small little boo hoodies just found its way over here. But anyways, I put it back cause it's again an extra small and I go ahead and I grab those uh, shirts that my kids wanted that I thought they wanted zip up jackets now i will be going back on monday oh here's some cool leggings they're harry potter leggings they've got all like the spells on them and stuff uh those are really cool i got those for my daughter and she really likes them she's actually wearing them today to be quite honest price on the leggings was marked 37 dollars, so about 12 dollars for those and like i said she does like those it's a little expensive honestly still i'd prefer the 80 percent off the, you know if those were only eight nine dollars i would have liked that a little better but like i said we're going back monday and we're gonna try to see if the crowds are less crazy if they still have lots of good inventory i wanted to come monday opening day to really see if the inventory was way better and you know if this was when all the deals would be so Anyway, so I grabbed these shirts. We should probably skip ahead because I spend a lot of time grabbing these shirts and then we'll move to a table where I actually get something new. Okay, here's something new. I found this spirit jersey, which was really cool. It's a uh, Iron Man one. It says Invincible on the back. It's got his like little triangle thing, you know, his heart thing on the front. And I like the spirit jersey. So I decided to try to find more spirit jerseys. That was on the large table. I grabbed that for my wife, and then I saw this Punisher hoodie, and oh man, I love this thing. It's so cool. It was on the large table. I was like, this is gonna be perfect for my son. I'm gonna get one for him and one for me. And I don't know, when I watch this footage back, I'm gonna figure out what went wrong, but something went horribly wrong. I even looked inside at the tag to make sure it was the right, pri or right size. I look at the price tag, it was affordable at 60 bucks, meaning it was gonna be only $12, and it was a really heavy zip-up hoodie. I was so excited. This was like my most excited find of the whole time. Something went horribly wrong, right? So I got that off the large table for my son. I decided to try to hunt for an extra large table so I can find one for myself. So here we go. Here's an extra large table. I'm like, oh man, I don't see it, but oh, this is a cool, uh, cool t-shirt. It's, you know, $12. I think it was 37, so three, yeah, about $12. So I was like, yeah, this I'm probably going to get too. I'm sorry, the hoodie was $18 because it was 6, 12, 18. Math is hard. I'll do lots of wrong math here. Right, $28. So that's yeah, a $9 shirt. I grabbed that. It's Demon Slayer. Then I find this other spirit jersey, which I'm actually wearing right now. I really like this thing. Uh, and I actually found it on the extra large table. So I said, sweet, I'm going to get this. I uh, just looking for the price. The great thing about the spirit jerseys is they were originally like 70, but they were marked down to 34 and then an additional 70% off that. So they ended up being $10 a piece. So that was a great deal. Now I'm back on the hunt for the hoodie. <laughs> like I'm hyper focused on that hoodie now. I wanted to find an extra large version of it. I saw this little Kung Fu Panda guy. He was gonna be like $12 after the discount. And I was like, I, I almost wanted him, but I just could not judge for the Kung Fu Panda. I see this line forming and it's like crazy hectic and people are like pushing and shoving and stuff. And it turns out they brought out wands, interactive wands, and people are just going nuts for them. I swear people were like ready to throw fists and stuff. <laughs> it was pretty insane. You saw that lady just look at me like, yeah, they're all crazy. <laughs> 
Uh, so I tried to lift my camera to get a view of just like the craziness. I actually do end up getting some amazingly. And a lot of people are like on the other side shouting and stuff. Someone give me a wand and I'll give you one of these. Like there's like negotiation happening and stuff. It's pretty funny. So uh, basically it can get pretty crazy. Now I'll be honest with you. I don't even know what I paid for these. I just got caught up in the hype and I said, oh, I want wands. And so I grabbed wands. I believe they were originally $79.99 or something because it was the red ones are the ones I got. And they're like the collector's edition wands that are normally 80 bucks and so at you know 70% off that would make them $24 a piece those right there in my hand with that shiny shiny cover and now I'm just trying to reach in and grab them well that lady has a lot of tattoos on her arms huh <laughs> these are the things I notice but yeah so I'm trying to grab them everyone's like the reds are all the same the greens are all the same now the green I did grab one the red I grabbed two uh, and then I left because it was just it was a little too hectic there to be honest with you patient people were shoving up against me and stuff there that guy was trading a chocolate frog puzzle I dropped stuff I grabbed my bag and I get the heck out of Dodge because it was just getting a little insane in there gonna get some crowd crunch or something going on but I did I did walk away with three once it was hard to tell but I got three red or two reds and one green wand into my bag which i was pretty pleased with even though now i mean i don't know do i need them <laughs> what do i need any of this really let's be serious speaking of things i don't need i stumbled upon these sunglasses that make you look like a dinosaur they were 12 dollars or some 15 dollars so three four fifty basically i got them for my daughter my nine-year-old and when she saw them she was like oh, these are the best sunglasses ever so i think they're worth it at this point i decided to try to see what the wand looked like and so i was opening that there you go there it is fancy schmancy i also checked the green wand realized it was one we already had so i put it back and then i saw this and i was like oh man is this really birdie bots every flavored beans i thought it was candy you know, I always get candy excitement. Who doesn't? Turns out it was a puzzle. So I dropped it back on the table and continued on. At this point, I was like, all right, I think I've seen most of what they have to offer. I don't see any lounge flies, which I really wanted, but that's all right. Let's see. They've got over in the Halloween section. But then as I'm heading to the Halloween section, I got distracted by some boxes with like some cheap looking bags. Then I saw down on the ground some Loungefly wallets. And I was like, oh, I definitely want some more Loungefly wallets. They're marked 55, meaning with 75% uh, off, they're about 17 bucks or something. The Jaws drawstring bags looked okay, but I don't know, I still haven't used the other drawstring bags I got last time. I also saw this Thor Love and Thunder Loungefly wallet, and I grabbed two of those as well. So I got two of the Thor ones, two of the Doctor Strange ones, and I was kind of just glancing to see if there was any other Loungefly stuff. Didn't really spot any, so I decided to move along. Here I found some uh, some shoes, basically. So they had a whole bunch of flip-flops, different sizes, size nines, things like that. They're Tidepool brand. I don't really know the brand, but they ended up being like $9. They also had some Mardi Gras, Bre Mardi Gras beads. Uh, I think Tidepool flip-flops for $9 is probably a decent deal if you need them, but I personally just didn't need them, so I put them back. All right, so I just realized it says uh, High Tide, not Tide Pool. But whatever. Either way, I didn't get them. Looks like High Tides sell online for like 30 to 40 bucks generally. So it was a good deal. I just didn't need them. So moving on. Here I find a Jurassic Park sign. Spare no expense. I, you know, it's, it's room decor. My room, my kids' rooms, we're all already decorated. We don't really need any room decor. So even though they are cool, like I like the spared no expense thing, I decided not to grab any of that. They still have some of those Fast and the Furious helmets that I got for like a buck last time. Down on the ground there, there's that cool beanie that I grabbed. They also had more of these Surfer Boy pizza visors. I grabbed a few of those because I liked them. Now those are all 70% off. You know, they're pretty standard pricing, marked at like 25 bucks a piece. And then you take 70% off of that. A lot of this Halloween stuff is stuff I already bought in my HHN video, my Halloween Horror Nights store video, which I already released. So go back and watch that one. It's like 12 minutes long. But yeah, I bought those Vecna bags and a bunch of the other patches and things like that, magnets, so on and so forth. So definitely check out that video to see some of that other stuff I got for Halloween Horror Nights. But we're not going to stick too long on that just because we have a whole nother video dedicated to the Halloween Horror Nights stuff. Oh, this was cool, though. This was a Hellfire Club wallet for $28, so two, four, yeah, about $9. I got two of those, so those are really neat. Stranger Things themed, if you're wondering what that means. That's a Stranger Things like Dungeons and Dragon Club. And yeah, so more patches. These are just a Stranger Things patches or stick-on patches, and they were cheap, they are like four bucks. 
So I'm pretty much like ready to wrap up and I see this little uh, bag full of hats underneath this table. So I pull it out and I see it's Slytherin hats, which is, you know, my daughter's favorite house of Hogwarts. So I open up that bag and I grabbed one of the hats. They were marked like 20 bucks, meaning they were like $6. So I did grab one of those hats. You can kind of see I'm trying to get it in the camera shot there. Pretty cool little hat. And as I'm walking to get in line, I see a bunch of people holding a red lounge fly bag. And lounge fly bags is one of the main reasons. See her on the left there? She was just holding one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, where are they getting them? How are they finding them? I hear someone saying, oh, this lady was giving them out. Some team member was giving them out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I missed it. And that's like just a crazy thing. They're just constantly bringing out new stuff at these. And I was like a little disappointed that I didn't get one. So I'm trying to figure out where I can find one. And then this happens. Want it? She doesn't want it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lounge fly 92. 82, 82 MSRP. Captain America, that's really cool. So it's crazy in here, guys. Super crazy, super crowded. People are fighting for the wands. Like, they go crazy about the wands. I did happen to be at the right place at the right time and got a few of them. I put the green one back because I already had that one. Both my kids, all three of my kids have that one. Um, and I actually got them at a cheaper price than this, so it's insane. I don't know if I'd recommend coming right at open on Passover Day. Uh, I waited like 30 minutes to get in, and it looks like the checkout lounge line is going to be another 30 minutes. So, kind of crazy. So after waiting in line, uh, I think I was right around 40 minutes to wait in line. They totaled me up and the grand total was over $1,000, around $1,080. She applied the magical discount, did a little dance, a little jig, and it totaled out to $326. Like I said, saving me 70%. All right, guys, $326. They ran up to like $1,088 came down to 326. It was crazy, super hectic, absolutely insane. What I will say is they're constantly bringing out new inventory, which is interesting. So like I got there pretty early, ready to open basically. And some of the stuff people were getting while I was in line wasn't even out when I first got there, right? So some plushies, things like that. Some of the lounge flies, all that sort of stuff. So don't really think you need to get there rated right open. And rated right open, you had a 30 minute line to get in, 40 minute line to get check out. So it's pretty brutal as far as lines go. Now I'm gonna make another video in this series Monday. This is Saturday, annual pass holder preview day. Saturday or Sunday is open to everyone. Monday is like the last day and I think it'll be increased discounts. So. You know, make sure you check back, subscribe, hit the like button, all that stuff. In the next video, hopefully, we'll be back here on Monday. And I'm going to go, like, not rated open, not at 7. I'm going to go at, like, 9. And I'm going to see if the crowds are way less and if it's a lot easier to navigate and if they have even more new stuff. So I think it'll be an interesting experiment. I could, you know, personally, on Saturday morning, I'd rather be going to real garage sales than coming to the Universal one because real garage sales have better pricing. But I wanted to try it this one time and see how it went. But now, you know, there's still time. I probably will go to real garage sales. All right, we'll see you next time, guys.